Today, I want you guys to meet a professional music licensing producer who composes trailer and orchestral music. This is Edmund Red, and he is a beast. This guy is world class, okay? The instructions and the tutorials that he provides to Sync Academy are unlike anything you've ever seen before. The feedback and the, um, the just the, the notes that I'm getting from current members is just out of this world. So I'm really, really humbled and honored to have you, uh, Edmund, with us for Sync Academy. And for those of you that are interested in trailer orchestral music, I know it's exciting and it really does make you want to uh, create music that would land, you know, let's say in trailers, in, in movie theaters, and in, in the background of films, or sometimes in the foreground as well. And I know it's a very competitive field, it's really high quality, and so a lot of producers and composers sometimes can get frustrated or demotivated um, because they just don't know how to get to that point where they're making really licensable and professional sounding orchestral tracks. Now, Edmund, you've obviously been doing it for quite a while right, uh, now, and I know that this is something that you've just sort of breathed in and out, you know, it's your second nature to create these high quality cues. Um, but why do you feel that orchestral trailer music is somewhat difficult genre for producers to learn how to create? I won't say difficult, but rather overwhelming. Um, you know, you don't know where to start from, and you have a lot of things that come to your mind. Uh, what is the best DAW? Uh, should you have a musical education? Is music theory a must? Uh, what about orchestration? What is voicing? Which is the best sample library? Uh, talking of uh, the best sample library, say for example, you take a string library, the best out of in the market, and then uh, you try it and it sounds great out of the box. Uh, you write a track, and then you compare it to a reference track and you're kind of disappointed of the, the sound quality that it has. You might get uh, demotivated and you might quit the genre. Uh, you might quit the genre. You might quit writing in the genre. Uh, the trick is to actually learn the intricacies of the orchestra and the tips and tricks that uh, composers and music producers use. Uh, another issue is that it takes uh, more time to write an orchestral track uh, compared to, say, an instrumental uh, simpler track. And uh, usually new to business uh, producers have barely a couple of hours a day in their home studios. Uh, and taking two, three, four weeks to write an orchestral uh, instrumental might sound counterproductive. And I guess the last thing uh, that might be an issue uh, in this kind of uh, type of music is the, the technical limitation. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, orchestral sample libraries usually requires a lot of RAM processing, uh, CPU power, uh, and usually orchestral trailers, orchestral cues have a large number of tracks. So having a not so powerful machine can be a sort of limitation. Other than that, I guess it's like any other genre, really. Uh, you just need to learn the, the basic principles of it. Yeah, that does make a lot of sense. Uh, thank you very much for sharing that. Um, what was it about music licensing that attracted you to the side of the industry? Like what pulled you into sync licensing for TV and film? Um, and alongside that question, maybe what are some projects that you're currently working on? I was writing my second uh, solo piano album and uh, I was looking for ways uh, to maximize distribution. Uh, I then stumbled on an opportunity that was requesting a melancholic uh, solo piano, so I thought that was it. Uh, so I submitted a piece, uh, not from the album, and a couple of weeks later uh, I got an answer and it was a rejection. I was furious, I couldn't stand it, I couldn't even think how on earth my piece was rejected. Uh, a couple of weeks later, another uh, another opportunity and another uh, piano listing as well. So I submitted another piece, same scenario, different piece, again, another rejection. Uh, 
so I knew somewhat that I was doing something wrong. Meanwhile, there was another opportunity for an orchestral uh, trailer. And uh, I start uh, writing one, one cue just to try it. I mean, uh, I, love, I love orchestral, uh, epic, big orchestral, out of this world music. Who doesn't? And surprise. It got accepted and almost immediately I got a deal uh, from a publisher. And then I had to go through the contract, uh, the agreement, uh, the requirements, the deliverables, the 30 seconds, the 60 seconds. All this was completely new to me. So I had to dig in and look up the, the lingo and see what's happening. And uh, as far as um, current libraries and current publishers I'm working with. Uh, there are a couple of ones based in the States, uh, two in Australia and one in the UK. Uh, I do provide them uh, constantly with uh, cues uh, unless they have specific briefs. Well, it definitely sounds like you're a pretty busy uh, composer, which is a great problem to have, uh, especially as a producer, as a composer. Um, so I'm really glad to hear that. But I'm very thankful that you took the time to create these really cool uh, tutorials in Sync Academy, because I know that the producers are getting a lot of value out of those. Um, from all of those tutorials that you supplied us with Sync Academy, what would you summarize as sort of the three main concepts that you would want a composer or a producer to take away from your teachings? If I had to pick my top three, I would say uh, a main solid uh, structure, well-defined structure. Uh, another thing would be uh, keep your arrangement simple yet interesting. And the third concept would be not really from my courses and my teachings, but something that I can't stress enough, actually, is to get to know and to master uh, all the tools that you already have, be it uh, plugins or sample libraries or even DAW. Very simple, but very powerful information. That's really cool. And finally, I want to ask you, now that you've been in Sync Academy and you've seen what we've been doing in there, why would you recommend a platform like Sync Academy to a, an aspiring producer or composer that wants to succeed with TV film music licensing? <laughs> That's an easy one. Uh, actually, Sync Academy is probably the only platform, uh, or if not one of the very few platforms out there as of today, that offers a complete walkthrough on how to create licensable music not in one genre, but rather in the most requested ones. Uh, you could find a ton of tutorials out there, uh, be it f free or paid, and they usually talk about one specific subject, whereby Sync Academy has everything under one roof. Uh, also, it's an amazing platform uh, to meet fellow, uh, fellow composers and fellow musicians, and a great way to connect. Uh, I, I would like to thank you, Jesse, for all the time you put and all the information you share. What you give the community is really priceless. So uh, thank you so much. Awesome, Edmund. Thank you so much, man. And for those of you that have not joined us yet, the link is down below. So if you are looking for the one-stop shop to show you how to produce, mix, and master orchestral trailer music like Edmund teaches you, or rock, pop, hip hop, EDM, corporate music. If you are interested in learning how the pros do this, okay, and you don't wanna waste time, weeks, months, maybe years, taking a stab in the dark, hoping that you're sending the right kind of music to a library, hoping they're going to take you seriously and accept your music. If you don't wanna take all of that guesswork out, Sync Academy is your platform, okay? The encouragement and the positivity that is just exploding out of this platform is, incredible. I'm logging into this thing every single day. I have it on my phone, I have it on my computer, and I have it on my laptop. So no matter where I am, I'm always logging in and participating and having fun with the Sync Academy members and not only myself getting inspired and educated from you guys, but you guys are also obviously learning so much stuff. A lot of times overwhelming just the amount of content and knowledge that's coming to the members every single day in this program. So now is your time to get started, okay? Don't let another week, another month go by where you think about it, you kind of, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe. 
Again, if you're not surrounded by positive, motivated, hardworking people that are trying to make music licensing their full-time job, you're on your own, isolating yourself, trying to do it by yourself, I wish you the best and I hope that you use any of the content that you find online to help you get to your goals. I really actually do. But sometimes getting that guidance, getting that sort of walkthrough, a producer opening up their session and showing you all their secrets for how they create licensable music, that's what makes the difference to make sure you get there much quicker. So I do invite you and I invite you to join us today.